Hey, Sarah here. Um, so we're going to take a look for a minute at taking information and creating an equation that represents some kind of translation from a parent graph on it right now. So if you, as you can see, I have gone ahead and written the vertex equation that um, we're going to go ahead and start with. There we go. Now I have what I want. I've gone ahead and written the equation that we're going to start with. So as you know from the videos that you've already watched, the type of graph that it is represents the parent function. And that is going to give you your equation that you're going to use to import all of this information. And then you have your stretch or your shrink, right, which is your A value in the equation. And then you have your vertex or your origin, which is the HK value in your equation. So really when it comes to the rest of it, you're pretty much just going to substitute values in. So you're going to take y is equal to whatever your a is, which in this case is 2. And then you're going to leave your x as it is. Remember you have a minus sign. So on this one you have uh, negative 2. So you're going to substitute that completely in, which is going to make your turn your equation inside of your parentheses into a positive. And then you're just going to substitute in your value for k, which in this case is 6. And now you have an equation that represents the translation to this parabola, which means there should be a square right there. And if you remember from the lessons that you've already learned, you also, it's already in completing the square form, and so that gives you all of the information that you need. This will work on any equation for substituting in the values a, h, and k. So really once you have the information and you already have the vertex equation that from the note sheet that you did earlier in the module before this, this you just leave it in vertex form. You don't need to turn it into standard form um, so that it's not factored or not in, not having the square completed. So send me an inbox message if you have any questions. And the next video is going to look at how to find a graph out of, um, how to write an equation out of a graph. Sorry about that. All right, have a good day.